Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll be applying appearances to the assembly that you see here. My assembly consists of a table and two pens. The pens are virtually identical. One was imported as a part. The other was imported as a sub-assembly. Let's find out where the table gets its appearance from. We'll right-click on this note, scroll down to Eye Properties, and go to the Physical tab. Here we can see our material, wood birch, but it's grayed out so we're not able to edit it. Let's close the Eye Properties window. Now let's right-click on the Table node and select Open. Right-click on the Table Part file and select Eye Properties, Physical tab. And now the material isn't grayed out, so we're able to make some changes. The Materials menu in the Quick Access toolbar shows me the material type, wood, birch. The appearance is cherry, natural, no gloss. Let's click this arrow to expand the menu and select Clear Override. Now we have birch, natural polished, as material selected for the appearance. Let's close the document, yes, to save our changes. Now I'll apply appearances to the pen subassembly and I'll do it at this assembly level. Let's select body 1. Now select our appearance. We'll make it blue, wall paint glossy. Let's select the cap next and control select tip 1. We'll make these blue wall paint glassy as well. Lastly, let's select the nib. We'll make it yellow. Let's right click on body 1 and select open. As you can see, the appearance is not propagated to the part level. Let's apply an appearance now, selecting from the appearance drop down menu blue. Close. And let's save, yes. Since the appearance was applied at the assembly level, we can't see the appearance that we applied at the part level. Let's select body 1. And from the appearance drop down menu, we will select clear override. Now the appearance we applied at the part level is visible at the assembly level. Lastly, let's select the cartridge. We'll make it black. OK, let's apply appearances to pen 1. Right click and open. First, I'm going to select the body. And I'll make it orange red. Now control select the tip and the cap. I'll make them black. Lastly, let's select the nib and make it yellow. Since the cartridge isn't visible in this pen, we don't need to apply an appearance to it. Let's close this document, and when we're prompted to, let's click Yes to save. And this concludes our tutorial about applying appearances.